Okay, we got some problems with our Toyota Hilux truck. The faithful old girl's uh, struggling a bit at the moment. Um, the clutch pedal, it does a really weird thing. I'm okay to put, touch the clutch pedal, aren't I, Tom? We haven't no, got... No, we've got... We've loosened off. But what was happening was when you were pressing the clutch, the pedal was just sinking to the ground almost on its own. Um, and it wasn't disengaging the clutch um, so you couldn't change gear um, and the pedal was actually sticking to the floor so it's quite a, an odd situation um, but we've narrowed it down to the master cylinder and so we'll do a little video to show you how to change the master cylinder so if we just orientate ourselves and have a look what we've got so in the engine bay we've got the brake um, obviously this is for a right hand drive UK vehicle so it might look a little different if you're on the other side so we've got the brake Reservoir. Now, interestingly, the clutch, the one thing, uh, Tom's helping with a little bit of a light, um, the clutch cylinder is this one down here, okay? And it's got a pipe coming out here which goes down to the gearbox where the clutch slave cylinder is. Um, and we've also got a rubber pipe, if we look at it here, the one with the plastic clamp on, um, which is what we've put on, that won't be there on your car obviously, and that actually takes, it worried us a bit at first didn't it Tom, we hadn't yeah. seen this before, but it actually sucks your brake fluid for the clutch, so now obviously it's, the the point it takes it is above the minimum on the brake cylinder, so it would never actually cause you a brake failure, but I think it's fair to say that if you had a clutch problem you really want to be fixing it fairly quickly because it's going to be sucking your brake fluid. Um, so, yeah, and in fact, our fluid, we weren't, we weren't having a fluid loss. It was just par pushing past the seals, we think, in the master cylinder. So we've got a new master cylinder. Where's our new master cylinder? And it's a slightly different design. But basically, for those of you that don't know, it's basically a water pistol. And basically, you push the trigger here, and it squirts water, hydraulic fluid in this case, out there. Um, so your bulkhead would be here. Um, your foot pedal pushes on this, and so basically we've got two bolts, there you go, thank you Tom, um, we've got two bolts to undo, so now there are two different types of cylinder, we've bought the later type here, because um, the early types failed, um, Tom's just going to pull the bung out there, and we'll see the little threaded hole where the hydraulic pipe goes, um, that's it, that's what it'll just push push out there so right a couple of precautionary things brake fluid is corrosive um, it can corrode your paintwork so be careful with it when we start disconnecting the hydraulic hoses we will have fluid leaking so Tom's put this clamp on here which will stop the free flow of fluid out of the reservoir he's also put a plastic bag under the cap which forms an airtight seal normally the caps aren't airtight because as your fluid goes down it needs to let air in um, but putting a plastic bag on will reduce the the speed at which any fluid will leak out an open pipe um, right then, so we are now going to go, what should we do first Tom, we've got it so, yeah so first thing you need to put a bag under your master cylinder cap, if you've got them put a clamp here and we've got some special plastic clamps, careful you don't damage your pipe. The other thing Tom's got ready for us here is this little spring clip which is normally at the end, you can see the witness mark of the feed pipe, he's moved the hose clip back, should we disconnect that now Tom do you think? Yeah, we can pull that off, can we? Are you gonna are you gonna be the muscles for that one, Tom? So, no, sandwich vans arrived. Oh, I was gonna get a couple of drinks. You're gonna get a couple of drinks, Tom. You wanna... We got some nice weather today, haven't we? Oh, we go. So that just pulls off there. Tom's put that in a bag so that he doesn't leak fluid over our favourite truck. And that's all now out of the way. All right, you go and get yourself a drink, Tom. We'll be all right. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so you can see there the main feed pipe, the black pipe. Let me see if I can point it out to you in the picture. Oh, gosh, I can't see it. It's, it's, it's there. I'll put it in closer. There we go. You can see the main feed pipe um, in the picture just under my finger there. And that's where it, the hydraulic fluid is coming from, the brake fluid reservoir. So when Tom comes back, we'll get a spanner and we'll undo this nut here and we'll remove the hydraulic output side of the pipe. 
Right, okay, I'll have to do it myself. Tom's still having his drink. Here we go, we've got a 10 millimetre spanner. And I'm just going to... Having said that, it looks like Tom's loosened it for me. So, there we go. Now, if they're tight, you can get special brake pipe spanners that have uh, a little slot in them, so you can put them over the uh, the pipe, and you can actually stop your chance, minimise your chances of rounding those off. All right, man. Okay. So there you go. So when it's undone, you see you can move the little pipe union. Are they unions, Tommy? Yeah, the unions up that. Well, I've done that, Tom. It's a nipple. Really. It's a nipple, really. There we go. And Tom's just going to gently guide the pipe back. The pipes are semi-rigid. Um, more rigid than semi-rigid, is it, Tom? Is there any clips holding it in that we could pop out on? There we go. So, so Tom's move that and put a, put a plastic bag over the end just to stop it dripping everywhere. Is that out of the way, Tom? Okay, so that is all the hydraulic connections disconnected. Now we just need to dive under the truck inside and have a look if we can find out where the where the bolts are. So the clutch pedal, here we go, let's have a look. Right then, yeah, so I can see them. Well, and I'm not sure much light we've got, but we've got one here, and there is one at the top. Now Tom's taken that off already by the looks of it. He's taken the top one off for me already, Tom. <laughs> Um, so let's have a look. 12 mil. Have you got the spanner there or my lighting on it, Tom? Do you want to lean over, Tom, from the other side and put your torch in, please? I don't know if that's possible. Alright then. Ah. Oh, in fact, just opening the door out. There we go. That's perfect, Tom. That's cute. So we've got a little 12 mil socket on there. Off, you should be able to spin it. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lock nut, does it? Yeah, we go. You're right, Tom. Come on, it's a long enough bolt on it. There we go. So let's have a come into the light. So that's the type of, uh, they've got this nut with a captive washer on. So that's that removed, right. And so we should be able to pull that out now, shouldn't we, Tom? Okay, so we've refitted the two nuts into the bottom, located the clutch, sort of C-clamp into the clevis pin on the clutch. And then let's have a look how Tom's doing around the front. How are we looking around here, Tom? So on the later cylinder, the the output pipe has moved to a slightly different direct, a slightly different orientation. But there's enough length, and it, it wasn't much of a jiggle, was it, Tom? You just had to. I unclipped it. It's quite easy to do it by a little bit gentle pressure with the hands. Although it's in a tight space, it's not. Too it's all right. So we've just done that, um, and there we go. We've got the reservoir feed pipe to reconnect now. Um, can I do that, Tom? Yeah. Right, and put that reservoir feed pipe, slip that on over there. Uh, there you as go. Far as, as far as it'll go. Well, I'm going to release the hydraulic. Put the, clip on. put the clip on first, okay. You got the pliers there, Tom? You can do that. Mm. I'll slide that spring hose clip. You don't know if you want to call them a hose clip because they're not really. That's it. Put that clip on up there. Feel secure? Yeah, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. It's it's just gravity, yeah, it's feed. just gravity feed, isn't it? Just to stop it falling off. Release the, the pipes, the pipe clamp. So we should now be ready to bleed. Take the plastic bag off the cap. Double check. Yeah, sucked it in, yeah, yeah. There we go. So look at that minimal loss. 
so we'll soon be we might leave that off with so we will start bleeding now for those of you that know how to bleed a clutch um, see you again but for those of you who want to see us bleed it stay around and we'll we'll get some breaking clutch fluid and we'll go through how to bleed a Toyota clutch so we are now lying under the car we've got the prop shaft done in here and then on the gearbox we have the clutch slave cylinder mounted and when that pushes down it it activates this arm to go that way as I'm stimulating with my spanner there now the bleed nipple is a 10 millimeter there on there so we're going to put a ring spanner over that and you'll see when we open it it drips out now we don't want to drip that everywhere so we're going to put a little bit of a pipe on there that we've got oh sorry ah uh, we got a visitor good is that Kevin <laughs> Right then, okay, so leave that there. Okay, so we've got a pot, here we go, we've got our milk bottle pot, and we've got that holding, so we're going to collect the waste fluid, we don't want to pollute it everywhere. Um, okay, right then, so we're going to open up the clutch pedal, we're going to open up the thing, right, and Tom, can you press the clutch down? Oh, oh hold on, it pushed the pipe off. Okay, down. Okay, up. Okay, so down. Up. So the trick is obviously to open the valve um, as you're pushing down, then close it off so no air can get back in, let the pedal up and do that repeatedly. Now what you do need to do is check the reservoir level because you'll see the fluid on the brake fluid reservoir which is obviously shared with the clutch going down. So do five or six pumps and then check that. Uh, we just Tom's just gonna top that up now and then we'll finish bleeding.